Why the hell did you take Nancy Poteet up to Brex? Ain't you got enough on your hands? You keep rolling these good country people. Come next election, you're going to be flat out on your... So who are you going to put in? Butt guy? He's already set the brother-in-law business back 20 years. At least he don't make so damn many waves. Track, you're the best sheriff this county ever had. But you don't know any more about business than a hog knows about Sunday. The growth and well-being of this county depends on business. But what's that got to do with Nancy Poteen? It's got to do with race relations. Well, everything does. You're rocking the boat, you know. We got this conflict, now the blacks are moving north. They're going to Chicago. They're joining the army so they can get a $1,500 bonus. Then they can go to Germany for two years and become ski instructors. And what happens to me? I got to replace them with whites. But no self-respecting white will do grunt labor for what I pay the nigger. I can't make no money out of relief checks. That's all that'd be left. First thing you know, I'd be up there on the mountain with Breck, sitting in a rocking chair joined with a bunch of old shines. So... You're cutting your own throat, too, you know. That's right. There's a black majority in this county. What's going to happen if they decide to run old Junior here for sheriff? Where'd you be then? Where'd you be with your gift house from the grateful county people and your gift car and your kid going to West Point? <laughs> Got you where it hurts, don't I? And don't look at me like I'm the heavy. Because I'm not. If you want to know who the heavy is, I'll tell you. It's the system. <laughs>